Hi everybody and welcome to our official strategy guide for Field Runners 2 brought to you courtesy of GamerGuides.com. My name is Andrew Mills, author of the strategy guide and today we're going to be taking a look at Bizarre Bazaar on heroic difficulty going for those three stars. Um, like all the videos primarily that we go for, we go for no leaks on survival maps and on a lot of them we go for no item use as well, though on several maps we don't mind using them on occasions. So. On this particular map, we are going. To, we've put three towers to the left, three towers to the top, and primarily the top ones are the ones you're going to want to upgrade first because we've going to, we're going to force the ones from the left to pass by the ones at the top anyway, and that will also deal the damage to the runners that come from the top. We're going to drop an extra tower by the corner of the bridge. Where we're dropping an extra tower now to the left of the bridge, that just provides an extra bit of support and an extra bit of damage to runners that come across the top and also to any of the helicopters that will frequently pass across the centre of the map from left to right. Eventually what we're going to need to do is get the enemies to loop over the bridge. But first and foremost we're making the top runners run across and around to join their other runners. So they're going through, funneled through the one route. Our goal now is to earn the money to block off any potential exits so we can channel them down through the bridge and across and over the central bridge. And then ultimate strategy is going to be that once they come over the bridge they're going to have to go back up towards the top of the map so any runners that have to come from the north to the south will have to run all the way back down through loads of turrets to get to the southern exit of which those are the vast majority of the runners in this map. So there we go, we have primarily now that particular structure that you see by the end of round 11 is the structure that is going to force the runners over the bridge. Now you're, obviously your key power towers are going to be placed around the central bridge and that's, that's going to be your, your key focus. What you're going to have there is on the left hand side of the bridge you're going to ultimately have spark towers and on the right hand side of the bridge you're going to have tesla towers. Um, and they're, they're going to play to their strengths by damaging the units as they're coming through but also making sure that the helicopters are all taken care of comfortably as well. Right now this is all about just earning enough money. As it stands we're going to swap out that gun tower for a polymorph slow tower. Obviously you can use other slow towers of your own choice, but like we said on our other videos, the polymorph tower without a shadow of a doubt is the best slow tower in the entire game. And those on iOS users can unlock it for free and we encourage you to do so. It's it's worth it. Very, very much worth it. Okay, as you can tell, we're now saving for the Tesla. You drop the Tesla in the bottom right hand corner of the bridge. This will pick off any aircraft as they come across and damage any units as they one pass under the bridge and two pass over the bridge as well. So it has a dual purpose there. Getting ready to upgrade the here we go, Spark Tower is now upgraded to level 3. And that will deal some good punishing damage, certainly in these early stages. At some point, the the real challenge on Bizarre Bazaar is going to kick in around about round 35 up to round 55, where there's got some really high spikes in the difficulties. So we're going to prepare, start preparing to extend our map out towards the right hand side of the map where we can at least cover ourselves should there be any enemy leaks that come through and they will be much more likely to occur as we said from round 35 onwards. We've placed our second Tesla tire where we said we would in the right hand side of the bridge so that is going to pick off aerial units very effectively and still deal damage to individual units as they pass under and over the bridge. Ok, 
Okay, we've now swapped out our last gun tower that was sitting right beside the bridge for another spark tower. We're going to upgrade that to level 3 as quickly as possible. There we go. So that's up to level 3. Now we start using our money to extend the map out somewhat and uh, ensure that it's much less likely that any runners are going to make it over the edge of the bridge and to the exit. So as you can see, we're now doing our little maze on the right hand side. So as you can tell from the pausing of the game, runners that are coming from the north that go to the south exit will have to double back and round all these turrets which we're going to improve over the course of the map anyway and it provides extra distance for those going on the right hand exit to reach it there. But we don't have to worry so much about the runners going to the right, they're not as frequent as the runners trying to make it to the southern exit and they're the ones that you really need to worry more about. There we go, finally, um, that's that tank finally done out of the way. So we're just saving a bit of money to upgrade the second, the, the, the other Tesla tower, that's right, there we go. Now we've got both Tesla towers at level 2. Um, it is key to make sure that your Tesla towers are upgraded to level 3. Now that we've created the main, the majority of the structure of the maze, it is important to make sure that we're dealing damage to all those aerial units because they're the ones that at the minute can pose to be quite a threat. But this particular maze structure is really strong for certainly going for heroic. Perhaps not as strong as if you're then wanting to progress onto endless mode, um, which has a massive difficulty ramp up um, literally from round 71. The, the health just shoots right up on the enemy units. So there are possibly other slight maze formations that would make a slightly better use of endless mode. But in the world of simplicity and making it easy to replicate a maze without being too overly complex, this, this does the job quite admirably, just, just to get the three stars at least. As you can see, we funnel all the runners that are going to the south, just just with a few more tires to to make sure that we're dealing the damage. At some point, we'll point this out in advance. The the bottom two tires that you see that covering the the southern exit, it is worthwhile, possibly in advance, to level both of those up to level three. You will find that a couple of runners will get very close to the to the exit. Um, and that will means we need to up upgrade those towers a bit closer than we would have liked. So with a bit of hinds our hindsight, they'll be good ones to upgrade in advance. Now another Tesla tower, right slap bang where we drop it in the southern area of the map, central, opposite to the southern exit of that bridge. That will one, ensure aerial units are taken care of even more effectively, two, more damage is dealt to units as they're passing under the bridge, and three, and importantly three, for the runners that do happen to make it over the bridge, up back up the top of the map and right back down towards the southern exit, it will pick them off much more effectively. Okay, so that's the majority now of our Tesla towers. We're going to have one more Tesla tower a little bit later on in the map. Um, we are going to place a fourth Tesla tower where the Gatling turret is to the direct right of the bridge exit. That's in between the bridge and the right hand exit. We will place a Tesla tower there as well just to make it much life much more difficult for the runners that come across. Another good thing to bear in mind in advance is that the plasma towers will provide some fantastic support at the top end of the map as well and they'll do some really good damage to the units that are confined to the, the pathway that leads into the entrance of the bridge.
an extra polymorph turret will provide extra reassurance that any units that are going under the bridge or any units that are coming over the bridge um, are slowed down enough for those two Tesla towers to really uh, deal some good, good strong damage. Okay, uh, you can see we're now getting ready to position in our plasma tower near the top of the map. We're just waiting till we get $60, oh, well, $57. Sell the tower for three, we've got our 60. We now ensure that runners from all angles um, are gonna take damage from that particular plasma tower. And eventually what will happen is where the most northern uh, polymorph tower is which is just above the tesla tower to the right of it is a gatling gun tower we will swap that particular tower out for another plasma tower so the two will bounce off each other creating a nice tight corridor of field runner doom and this is where all your preparations and advanced plays dividends. We're going to upgrade our plasma tower. We've already upgraded it to level 2. We're going to make sure we get this upgraded to level 3 just to make sure we do as much damage as early on as possible to make it much less likely that runners are going to make it towards the southern end of the map. As you can tell now we've got a runner there that makes it all the way down. Pause. That polymorph tower and that tesla tower Pretty good at uh, finishing the job. We just uh, added a new spark tower there to strengthen that corridor of Field Runner Doom. Okay, now we're just getting ready to ensure we've got enough money to drop our fourth Tesla tower onto the map. So you can see the mouse icon hovering patiently over that gun turret. And we're just going to wait until we get to $67 at minimum. And the buyback of $3 will ensure that we got the $70 that we need. There we go, $67, $3, $70. And we've got enough money for a new Tesla tower. And that's going to be one of the key things in any of these levels that you play on Field Runners 2 is, is, your, is your money management. Knowing how much the buybacks are are really helpful. And for those of you who are interested in knowing what the buybacks are of every weapon for every level, and we do have that on the official guide in writing on GamerGuides.com as well. Should that be of interest, go and have a look and check it out. Okay, so with that plugging over... Let's get back to the main strategy. Let's, we're upgrading that new Tesla tower. That's going to be our new focal point. And making sure that's upgraded to level 3. And you can tell we weren't really lying when we say that uh, things step up a notch between uh, rounds f 35 and uh, 55. They do uh, send out quite a few more runners. Okay, we're getting another spark tower in there, and that particular spark tower serves two purposes. One, damaging any units that come under the bridge, and two, it will deal extra damage to the, the, the several units that will eventually make it round down towards the southern exit. There will only be a couple of them, um, but it will provide just extra damage to you, make finishing them off easier so we don't get any leaks. There's 
quite a high difficulty spike on this round, round 55. Um, in our previous testing of, of mazes, this was the particular round where it was much more prone to getting enemy leaks. Um, there are some runners there that are quite stubborn, to say the least. And as you can tell, they're much more likely to make it to the southern end of the map. And we upgrade. And I've realised you're like, oh, well, that guy's maybe not going to go down just yet. Let's upgrade the lot bottom two towers that we mentioned a few rounds before. And they just make sure that uh, they don't reach their destination intact. So we just need to make sure we wait until we get $41 and then we're going to swap out tar here for a flamethrower. This is generally the, the longest sort of map in the game um, at clocking in. Currently in our playthrough of around about 22-23 minutes. Uh, it's a lot of, of game time to, to play through. But we like to think that this particular maze isn't too taxing to memorize. The main focus is building on the top start first, then strengthening up the middle part of the bridge, extending the maze out to the left, and then extending your maze to the right, and then just strengthening up your, your, your core, core tires in the middle going around the bridge. But we've had no enemy leaks yet. No items have been used, and we've still got our airstrike intact, certainly for the minute. We are quite fond of using our airstrikes. We, we've earned them, so um, we're quite happy to, to use them. We understand there's users that prefer not to use them, and by all means, fair play to yourself. But as we've always said before in our videos, our goal is to make sure that your life is as easy as possible. And that's our main concern. So we're just now, as you can see, I'm hovering over a particular turret and I'm just waiting till we get the $60. And there we go, buy back, swap it out, and we've now got a nice little bouncing corridor of green blob doom. Okay, we're just waiting for $45 now. Once we've got $45, we'll upgrade our second plasma tower to level 2. There we go. That's been upgraded. Um, that will ensure we're dealing even further damage to those units before they make it under the bridge. And the tower will also ensure that we're damaging units that are, you know, make it over the bridge and running down underneath. We got a new polymorph tower in there as well, just to make sure that we're maximizing the damage dealt by the Tesla towers and the plasma towers that we've placed out. Think of it, think of that as, as an extra insurance policy, you know, just, just to make sure that the towers that you've placed down strategically are, are doing the damage that you need them to do. The flame floor has been upgraded now to level 3, it's maximum. So that is doing some substantial damage to units as they're passing through. We get another spark tire down there for those that are starting to cross the over the bridge, because it is much more likely units are going to make it across the bridge now. No matter. The tire units that we've got will do substantial damage. Close. Close field runners, but no cigar. Better luck next time.
Now, to be fair, we're about to get run into round 68. Um, we've hit over a million points, so if you've yet to score that card, job done, you'll have your uh, your million point score achievement unlocked now. And to be fair, this this is pretty much it. There's there's not really much extra that we do to the map. The, the formation's pretty much there. We just strengthen up a few towers, and we're pretty much now guaranteed that we're going to get our three stars. We hope you found our strategy guide video to be useful. Don't forget to check out our other official Field Runner 2 strategy guide walkthrough videos. And of course, we've got our official strategy guide available on GamerGuys.com. Support the developers, show, show your passion for the game, um, buy the guide, see what you think. Um, don't forget you can subscribe to us on Twitter for guide updates and game updates. And you can also subscribe to the Field Runners Twitter feed at Field Runners. We look forward to seeing you on our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.